Myself. I would rough around 334. Lifetime yeah. PR in the mile. Yeah, lifetime PR indoors. Uh, fourth place against some really, really good guys. Um, well, this it was a funny race for me. I I, uh, I hate to be this guy, but I woke up yesterday with a bit of a cold, and I just don't get sick very often. You know, I don't know how it happened, and I was freaking out. I was freaking out all day yesterday, and freaking out today. And um, I kept telling myself that it's, you know, who knows, like, I mean, I, I've, heard, I've heard a million stories about people running sick and running great, you know? Uh, but, I don't know, I, you, you, don't, you don't believe you're gonna be able to do it, and you, you feel like crap, and, you know, sometimes you have an excuse, and it feels good to have an excuse, you know? You got nothing to lose, but I, mean, I got out there and I felt okay. Last week, you know, you weren't sick, you ran four flat. What happened there? Oh, uh, there was a bit of a fall, but, you know, I, I mean, I actually thought about what I was going to say. I don't, I don't remember what it was now, but it was something along the lines of, you know, I had a, I had a, a character failure last week, you know? Um, I felt really good. I really wanted to win that race. I won it the year before. I had a lot of family in town. It was really important to me. And... When the fall happened, that attitude kind of went out the door. And, uh, you know, there were some physical things that happened too, but mainly I just, I saw the wind slip away. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I didn't work as hard as I should have to get back in the race. Mo got up and sprinted up there. And that's what you have to do, you know. There's always going to be difficulties, and I didn't really rise to the occasion last week, so... Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's good fuel for the fire, you, you know, I don't want to be that kind of guy, and a week goes by, and I don't have to be that guy anymore, you know, I can wipe the slate clean, but I'm going to remember that I did it, and never, ever do it again. Back to today's race, what did they gap you about, with 200 to go, is that when they kind of started pulling away? Yeah, that's what it looked like. Um, again, you know, I, I, uh, I guess I just kept waiting for something to go wrong, because I was worried it was, and I just wanted to run within myself for as long as I could, no matter what happened around me, you know. Um, they got me. I saw him pull away 200 to go. Um, I guess it was Coach Richard Coleman. He went around me, started pulling away. And 200 to go was there, and I thought, you know, nothing bad's gonna happen now, you know. You might as well keep sprinting. And uh, kept sprinting and ended up closing pretty well, you know. Maybe if I covered that move a little better, you know. Maybe I could have been third. I mean, they ran 352. I don't think I was going to run 352 today, but maybe I could have run 353 if I had my mind clear and, you know, wasn't worried about stuff that I shouldn't be worried about. So running this fast early, I'm sure it's encouraging, but you've got to be doing it in June. So, okay. So last year, I did something similar to this. Ran really fast. Not even as fast as this, but still really fast. And... Uh, you know, kept on running fast, um, and by USA's, I crumbled. Um, I mean, I know what this looks like, you know. Russell Brown's running fast indoors again. I, I wouldn't blame anyone for thinking that, you know, I'm good at indoors and I'm good at picking too early, but Ben and I have done things a lot differently this year. My mileage is higher. I'm doing different kinds of workouts. You know, I mean, I'm running similarly, but uh, I think my plan this year is focused on running well through the summer. That's when I'm going to run my best. Um, it's always an experiment, but I think I'm doing everything I can to put myself in a position to do things right this year. Good luck and good job. Thanks. You'd rather run faster than slow, right? I mean